So let's look at the next section. So maintaining life, what does this mean? So there are eight specific things that we need for maintaining life. And this is not, I need to live the next 30 seconds or the next day. This is, I need to live generation after generation or for the next month or two months or three months, years, 50 years, 60 years. So this is more long-term. So the first one we have is maintain boundaries. Maintaining boundaries. So we maintain boundaries. What does that mean? It separates internal from external. So an example would be the layers of the skin. So I separate the outside world from my inside world. Another example though would be the layers of the stomach. My stomach is really, really acidic. I want to keep that acid in my stomach and not anywhere else. So there are going to be four layers there that help keep that acid in my stomach. So not just from the outside in, but also on the inside keeping specific things in spots that they need to be. Next one is movements. And so when you talk about living, I don't necessarily have to be able to move my arms and legs. Not necessarily what we're talking about. One of the things that we can talk about is like my stomach moving or my intestines moving the food through or my heart beating. Those are all muscle movements. And so we're not just arms and legs. I can be paralyzed and I can live a very long time. Internally, we have to have movements. The next one is responsiveness. The other word for responsiveness is irritability. Irritability. So what does that say? It says that I need to have the ability to sense changes in the environment and respond to them. My statement is, is I'm gonna irritate you until you respond. So you're hot and you're getting hotter and hotter. My response would be to sweat. You're cold and so we start getting cold and we start to go numb so we start shaking and getting goosebumps and stuff like that that's my response to things inside the body we can also see the stomach gets mad so you've got pain discomfort possibly vomiting your body will make you pay attention um you're thirsty so your mouth gets dry you ignore that your throat could get sore you keep ignoring that. You may get dizzy. You may get lightheaded. You go to dehydration and you may pass out. Your body's going to get more and more extreme if it needs to to make you pay attention. Next one is digestion. So digestion says I have to break down the food. Break down ingested food. What does ingest mean? Ingest means that I swallow it. I put it in my mouth. Um, going right along with that, then I have to metabolize. Metabolism is the next one. So this is going to occur in my cells, allowing me to take those nutrients and turn them into the energy that I need. And then after I've done all of that, then the last one goes right along with it, and we excrete. Excretion. So with excretion, then if we're talking digestive system, I'm going to poop out what I don't need. I can pee out my waste. I can breathe out some of my waste. Um, they do that with, um, like, police officers will use a breathalyzer to help see your alcohol level because your body is trying to get rid of it. Sweating out your waist. If you've ever had like sweat go into your mouth from your face, it's salty. We're getting rid of, rid of some of our waste there. So it's not just digestive and urinary that are getting rid of waste. Our respiratory and our tankumentary also get rid of waste. Um, and tankumentary, sorry, is skin. 
The last two are reproduction. Oops, wrong color. So I need to be able to produce offspring, but don't forget it's got to be cellular too. I've got to be able to have a cut and it repair itself. So it's got to also be on the cellular level. And then the last one is growth. So not just you got to grow tall. Whoops, I spelled that wrong. Okay, it's not just grow tall, but my heart has to get bigger. My brain should change size. My eyes change size. So internally, I need to have my organs growing and changing. My muscles have to get bigger. All right.